play. Work. Oh my god. Oh, I've got to change the name from way back. People are going to think it's poker. Uh, hope people come come watch me play chess. That'd be fun. We're playing chess if anyone's watching. Um, the fuck to do this? No, not that one. Edit producer. Could edit. Create a dashboard. Got it. Life's tough. No, hey girl. Hopefully, no one just got trolled into thinking I'm back on the bank or challenge or something, yeah. Dude. People, how did you do chat? Oh, they have headphones and music. Let's just see if people want to tune in anyway. Pop out. Amazing. Let's just start playing. Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm sorry if people think I'm here to play poker. It's uh, not today. I'm not feeling it. hope somebody out there likes chess and maybe someone out there is better than me at chess and can help me play chess i've been so into it recently that is not a good move all things considered um okay my elo rank ranking in what is this blitz or something yeah it's getting there guys I've been playing now for a few months now up to 1300 I'm very proud of that 1300 switch poker and chess communities have actually very close hell yeah didn't know that so I've got that takes does nothing all right there threatening that and that does nothing oh. Oh. Why not poker? Because it's a Sunday. Who plays poker on a Sunday? Are you mad? That would be crazy talk. Yeah, I'm just not feeling poker at the moment. I've been playing a lot of chess. And that is already an annoying spot for me. Oh my god, is he just winning the bishop? No, that can't be right. Holy shit, is he just winning the bishop? Oh my god, how embarrassing, my, my chess debut. <laughs> um, Alright, let's at least infiltrate in return. See if he wants to make the trade. Sup, 5,000 year old pharaoh. I recognize that. Oh no, you got your bit. I'm so sorry that I changed it to chess. And then it sent out just like an I'm back message and it obviously didn't change it properly. Oh my God, I'm not getting trapped, am I? That would suck. Yeah, GG you guys. I, I can play some poker on the side maybe. Just get get the bankroll challenge, go and play some 10 and L zoom. What do you think? I'm not sure I can play music either because uh, I don't have headphones. I left them in a hippie van, which still belongs to, well, it belongs to Hannah, actually, she's back. Um, however, the fuck? So he's leaving that hanging. That seems dubious. Because he can't do anything, because then he just gets checkmated. Okay. 
whatever you feel. Okay. D guys, I'm going to bring back the poker streams because why? Well, it's actually a necessity. Yeah, I, th I think he should just admit his mistake here and just kind of run back to knight f6. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do poker streams at some point because I am going to be creating a lot of content. I've already, nah, people just don't like admitting their mistakes. That's, that's not good. Um, all right, is he threatening anything at all? I don't think so. So I want to kick the knight. Hopefully it doesn't go back to where it just came from. And then I want to play bishop h6. Because if, if he goes there, then I think I just I win the exchange. Yeah, so I'm, I'm making my site. And I've got to make a lot of poke content. I've recovered the bankroll challenge content, which is sick. Um, so I can give that to all you guys for a ridiculously cheap price. And then I've got to continue. I've got to complete the bankroll challenge along with a lot of other stuff. And man, have I realized something recently is the site that I'm making already has one huge competitor called Skillshare, which has tens of thousands of videos on it. And it's extremely high level. Luckily, I think we're going to be better than them. However, we are going to start off a lot smaller than them. Put in like three to 400K into it. So hopefully it won't be that small. <clears throat> Back for some W coup. Probably not. The fuck are you doing? Hmm. Uh, I don't need to take yet. Maybe I do actually. I probably do. So we're even on material, kind of technically. Um. I feel like I could just pawn rush at this point because his, his king side is so weak. I'm pretty new to chess. Open the 530. Yeah, maybe I can just play like a, a hyper turbo or some fucking spinnigos or something ludicrous on the side. What do you think? Gotta be careful not to move this guy before this guy. Oh, this guy's about to move anyway. We're fine. Uh, yeah, guys, ask me. I want to get back in the Twitch vibe. Ask me some very personal questions because <laughs> that's what we did steve goldie fuck yeah dude i remember everyone fuck yeah it's it's nostalgic nostalgic to be streaming again all right so he's threatening take and that's it so if i just bam i'm just kicking him around like a little bitch and then i can push this guy again unless he goes there in which case, I got, bam, kapowie, boom. So I think he's got to go back there or there, which sucks for him. Hyper's on the side sounds good. Dude, I haven't logged into PokerStars to play in such a long time. Actually, that's a lie. I think I played some Spinnigos recently. I want like 1k in them. <laughs> Everyone sucks in Spinnigos. I don't know if I'm any good at them either, but can't be the worst it's hard to be the worst and i feel like there's a lot of post flop play where everyone still kind of plays like you would find on like 25 nl streets even though it's like 100 spinning goes all right that i didn't i didn't look at actually i guess i can just go there though then he has there and i've got to attack again this is fucking messy all right so that's that's the beginning he doesn't have any checks can I play you off it? Yeah, guys, if you want to play me at chess as well, go um, go on chess.com and hit me up. What the fuck is happening? He is playing a dangerous game. So if I go there, take, take, threatening that, he has to go, oh, he has the knight. Ten minute games are like, just the right pace for me. Still not like a super quick thinker. All right, plan. Oh, no, I can't do that. Plan. Oh, no, I can't do that. Fuck 
It was just play down, open the position up anyway. Should I? Yeah. Mm. Guys, got any suggestions? When are you gonna challenge Magnus? Dude, I've been watching Magnus play. I think I got him sussed. Give me like, give me like a month. I'll be in there. All right, so this is not a great line. Wait, what? Can I just check me? Oh, he does have a check now. He's got a discover check. Why didn't no one tell me about the discover check? Oh my God, he has your kick. You did tell me, why didn't I fucking look? What are you guys doing? This is meant to be a team game. <laughs> have you not heard that chess is a team game? All right, can I block with anything useful first? first? No nothing, oh God. Keep on the second rank, I guess. We've still got counterplay. It's not over. All right, I've got to keep the Twitch chat bigger or something. <laughs> yeah, let's get some super personal questions. For HOMET experience, I've never had one. Out of all the psychedelics which I've given up in my life. Yeah, I've given them all up, by the way. Uh, yeah, haven't tried that one. Uh, all right, here at least we're threatening stuff. We're threatening it quite a lot actually with this. Can't like check me or anything stupid, can you? No. Can't take it? No. Alright. Take the knight with your queen. I don't want I don't want to just take take the knight. Bum, bum. Wow. Yeah I can I can feel myself getting so distracted now playing on Twitch. I wasn't I wasn't making blunders like that before. That's how I got to 1300. 1300! How are things between you and Anna? Do you mean Hannah? Uh, yeah, they're tough, man. They are difficult. She's over at the moment. Uh, we can't live in the same place because it's just so fucking... I'm going to use the word passionate, but it's kind of explosive as well. Oh, what? We're not, we're not actually threatening that. Wait, all right. So if I go bam, then I'm threatening bam. Already threatening bam. He's just got a lot. Maybe he's just gonna, he's just gonna time out. We got him in the tank, that's what's important. Whoa, straight in there? Uh, so we go there, he goes there. Bam. Hmm. Seems dubious. Hey Paco, what's up dude? Dude, we still gotta have our, our coaching session. That's right guys, I'm giving free hour one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions away. Um, and I had like 600 people apply, or maybe more actually, so uh, don't get your hopes up too much. It's not like, uh, yeah, you can challenge me. Get it, get on chess.com and I'll, the next person after that can be a challenge. Um, yeah, don't get your hopes up too much, but it's free and there is a chance it could be you. I was doing it based on live reads on Instagram. And then based on just like, you know, messages that I got that I thought were particularly nice. Um, and the live reads thing was really fun for a while. I was like, hey, I just made a story. Just like, hey guys, show me a face and I'll try and make a live read. I had to look through like, well, I didn't have to, I didn't get through all of them, but I got like 300 people send me a selfie. <laughs> I did not account for how long it takes to flip through and just look at like, What's, let's be honest guys, it's essentially like 99% guys just being like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it was fun, but it was, it, was, it was a bit too much. Yeah, sorry guys, sorry that the uh, the poker stream's not on. I'm surprised so many people are here because it's a Sunday, isn't it? Guys, I'm gonna be playing. All right, so now I can go check. Wait, is that just checking it? No, it's not. Wait, is that just checkmate afterwards? Check, has to go there, checkmate. Oh no, he can take. Um, oh, and he can take there as well, good. Um, checkmate? No, not yet. Checkmate? 
It's gotta be checkmate. Guys, is this one checkmate? After we've landed the fucking rook. Oh, it is! That's right, Pedro. Eat it. Cool. <laughs> hey, Chow, you mentioned. No, sorry, dude. I would love to play oh, someone else's off it. Oh my god, it's like a billion of them. Who should we play? You were the first. 10 minute? I love 10 minute matches. Uh, you mentioned skydiving to overcome your fear of flying. What are the fears do you have you'd like to overcome by diving in the deep end? Um, I'm not very good at playing against. I shouldn't say this out loud. People are going to be challenging me, but all right, let's let's play the Indian. Um, I am afraid of rejection. That's a pretty big one. And uh, stream muted. Is it muted, guys? Can you hear me? I don't. I don't get it. Is is it muted? Oh, you muted. Oh, oh, I got it. He muted me. Thanks. Oh, thanks, man. That's kind. All right, so I don't know. I don't know any of these lines. I'm just kind. Of, I kind of know the first three moves. So it goes castles there, there I guess, or I guess no, just there. Fuck, let's do it. I feel like it, if he pushes e5, it's like mildly overextended, so it should be okay. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm scared of rejection. Oh god, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, scared of rejection. So what I really want to do is wait that's not even a threat all right fuck him approach people and ask them to be my friend so the most fearful thing would be to approach someone and ask them to be like romantic with me and be like hey girl i like your trousers you want to come and cuddle <laughs> yeah like that would that would be like the epitome of anxiety inducing um i struggle with routine as well i guess i say um but because i am currently dating hannah then we're giving it a go at least then uh i push that that no oh god what do i do i just attack this a lot and double fianchetto or something. God. Um. Okay, so I feel like this and then or this and then that. No, that's not good. Okay, let's do that. Um, yeah, because I'm dating Hannah, I can't. I don't want to do the romance thing so I'm just gonna to have to see someone and honestly I think it should be a girl because it's so much harder for a guy to approach a girl than it is for a guy to approach a guy you want to double up my pawns bro fuck it do it no actually that doesn't sound nice um, so yeah I gotta gotta find a girl in public and be like hey do you want to be friends by the way not romantic I don't mean this romantically which is gonna be fucking weird but because it scares me I gotta do it and guys for y'all that don't know we're doing a skydive we as a group the uh the discord channel my instagram everyone oh fuck is he just playing me like a kipper fuck off um yeah I'm, I'm terrified of flying uh, and I, I love being terrified and I love pushing myself to the next limit, etc. So if he No he's not throwing anything, he's 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 throwing in that. Yeah, a bit, isn't he? He isn't. Let's not do that. Um What if you pass that way you skydive? I think the first one is tandem with an instructor. If it's not and I'm probably not doing it because I don't know if I pass out. I've not tested that. It's a, it's a hypothesis that I might not. It's not a theory. Okay, what is this doing? Up. Hold. All right, now you. Hold. 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 It's been a while. Marvelous. Dude, we still have those fucking emojis or whatever they're called. Are they called emojis on Twitch? Um, okay, still pins, so he's not throwing in that. Wow, 
I'm, I'm not doing anything. Let's do something. It's like not really a good place for my uh, my night to go. Should just open it up like this. Let's do it. The first one is tandem. Sick. Can't wait to be strapped to another dude. <laughs> Jump out of an airplane. Yeah, I didn't know I had a fear of flying until my emotions start coming back. And, uh, okay, if we go there, we at least get control of the D4 square. Don't know what I can do about that, but we do have control. I'm just going to take. You still remember what Twitch is up? Pro Poker Bros? I remember who you are. I don't remember what Twitch does. I don't remember. Dude, I remember fucking Pog Champ. I don't know what that means now. It took me years to, to work that one out. I feel like he shouldn't just let me take control of the center like that. That seems dubious. Because now I've got this, I'm just going to pile on it. Oh fuck, I almost moved my knight and oh no, no, I almost moved it whilst the pawn was there. We're fine. Is that the pog champ? Oh it is the pog champ. Alright, sick. Yeah, I was watching quite a lot of uh, RuneScape videos probably like three months ago whilst I was in a little depression hole. I fucking love RuneScape. I didn't play it luckily, which was good. Um So that's the only one that it doesn't get taken on anyway. So let's do that. Oh, fuck. Then he just takes. Can't do that. God. All right, so if we go there. Take, take. Oh, fucking that guy as well. So we first got to go here. No, can't do that. Because then take, take. Oh, my gosh. Am I just fucked? do that yeah you agree poker bros i wasn't sure about it because i know you're not meant to like fuck up your king side pawn structure too much if you've castled there but um desperate times you know <laughs> Yeah, RuneScape's fucking great. I was watching a lot of Spark Mac, and his energy was just so rejuvenating for me. Um, but I, I, I realized that when I started being myself again, started being energetic, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to watch any streams or anything like that. Because, I don't know. I like being really productive, and I totally get time-wasting. Like, I play a lot of chess now, which is my version of time-wasting. But it felt like I wasn't gaining anything personally from, from chess, you know? Yeah, you know. Don't want to go to Poker Bros. You just like sick of chess. That'd be so good. Yeah, I'm. I'm still new to this game. I feel like I'm pretty good. It's. It's hard to say. Like, not pretty good in terms of like the world, but pretty good in terms of how long I've been playing. And I've. Uh, I've not been. My favorite opening is the Danish Gambit. Um, I've not been learning anything really. I, I learned like three openings. All right, bitch. Wait, why is he why is he tanking now? Modern, why are you tanking now? You must have calculated this. If you decide to take Or did you not have any retreat squares? What the fuck? That was a knight, right? Okay. Am I missing something? Alright, whatever. This feels dubious. What's he threatening? Can I just... Bam? I mean... 
I guess he just bams, but and I got that at least. So it goes bam, 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 sorry, bam, bam. Uh, yeah, then what do I do? Fair enough, fair enough. Probably get my pawn. Enjoy it. You earned it. Have fun with it. Does he have any retreat squares though? That's the question. So if I attack it somehow, which I'm not sure I can do. Maybe I can do that and that. I'm not sure if he has retreat squares. The queen will be covering if I do that though. That sucks. Oh, guys, how do I attack it? Queen? Queen over there? Can't go there? Can't go there? Suck it! Oh, I don't know if this gonna work. Guys, I think we might be winning a piece. That's something that I find very difficult to notice when a piece is trapped. It's just, it's not really like a pattern recognition thing. He can defend it. We have ways to attack him more. How can he defend? Oh, he can just... Wait, what? He can push his pawn. How else can he defend it? Oh, he just queen, I guess. Queen, yeah. All right, all right. I didn't think that through. I forgot that he can just defend stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's why I never get too overzealous with this kind of stuff, thinking that I've, I've won material or anything. Uh, I have ways to attack it more, you say. Still win it. All right, how are we attacking it? You you can throw out some, some moves if you want. All right, we can go there. I should take knight. Bam, bam, bam. No, that doesn't work. Rook c1, rook takes, rook check c1. All right. And then bishop c8. Oh, you're right. Huh, we win the exchange. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Dude, he's got to be careful as well. Some checkmate opportunities if I get something going. How long time ago did I wash my hair? I, I washed it today. Might not look like it. Oh my god, he's disconnected even better. <laughs> it's hard to lose versus that. Dude, there was this thing called a hydro lamp that I... I'll see if I can get it up. It looks so fucking sick. And... Uh, it like the water's meant to like go upwards with a magnet. And turns out it was just a piece of shit. Unfortunately. Wait, now what do we do? Holy ads. How do I take off ads? I don't want ads. That's AIDS. Um, okay. Bam? No. Pokebra, did you calculate this? So takes, takes, queen up there. That sounds annoying at least. All right, let's just do that because we're running out of time. Threatening a very long checkmate. Damn it, <laughs> he evaded us. <laughs> Um. All right. Do 
Yeah, Rook, Rook's coming in at some point. Fuck, was that a pawn? At least that was a pawn. Alright. I can deal with pawns. If we do this, he can't take the bishop, which is nice. Uh, so let's go that. Now there's like a small percent chance that he's just going to blunder and be like, Bow! 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 Get it! Get it! Get it! There's like a 0% chance he's going to do that. But it does mean he's stuck, which is nice. And I have this move coming. You can win with a rook move. Oh, rook d8 is good. Hey, you, you guys saw it too. Should I have done it then? Nah. All right, he's seen, he's seen something. I should have done it then. What would have happened? I'm confused by that. Um, all right, don't, don't take the pawn. <laughs> Keep pushing. What would have happened? I haven't got too much time to look at it. Bam. Bam. What do we do if he just takes the bishop? Oh, checkmate. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, all right. Well played. <laughs> I'm new, guys. How is everyone in the fucking chat so good at chess? <laughs> Yeah, you probably shouldn't have someone, uh, someone so shitty just being like, let's not even play chess, guys. Luckily, when we kick this guy, we're going to get some gnarly mate threats back. It should be cool. He should probably take with the queen. He's up two, three pawns. It's a lot of pawns, man. Yeah, it wasn't a close spot. Bow! All right, we've got a minute. Focus in. Maybe we could just play real fast and just win on time. It's kind of my strat usually. If you can't outplay them. Why are you not playing Pokemon? Yeah, not feeling it. People are getting into the chess thing. Chess going more wild than they do when I'm fucking playing poker. Because in poker, I actually know what I'm doing more than you guys. Now it's the other way around. So you can actually... Like, the chats are real useful instead of distracting. Wait, are you threatening something? Are you threatening me? Fuck. Oh my god. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Going for that one. Threatening mate again. <gasps> yes! Yes! Dummy! We got him, boys! Arriba! We got him! We sent him left, we sent him right. He had no idea what was coming. Outplayed him on every move. Let's watch the analysis. Probably zero blunders. I can't I can't believe we played so fucking well, boys. Our fucking arriba. There we go, one in accuracy, no more blunders. Ah, oh, just perfect all round. <laughs> Amazing. Oh shit, only one blunder, that's, that's not too bad. <laughs> Dude, playing some book moves here, without knowing the book. Oh god, okay, and that's where it starts, it starts to go wrong. Let's go back to see what, how this move would have done. So that's a blunder because this would, would be crashing, you guys were right. Yeah, that was bad. Damn, he should have taken with the pawn? Crazy. What do I play next? Should have... No, I shouldn't, shouldn't have done that. That's, that's crazy talk. You just got to, like... When you're, when you're definitely going to lose a game, you just got to try and increase the chances that they're just going to blunder the game. Like, just make ridiculous threats, you know? <laughs> like that. Uh, yeah, let's do it. 
Yeah, you, you said, yeah, you, you were tanking for a bit, so I fired a leaper, so I assumed you were thinking about taking the point. I thought it was not even close. Let's play the fucking Karakan, guys. I know let's play this. Let's get some more personal questions in the chat as well. Oh my god, nine eight one. I've got I've got to win this, guys. I don't I don't want to get nine eight one to my rating. I'll be down to like three points or something. Um, people never usually play like this. Actually, I guess let's just do that. Attack this side. Wait, is the, what's the title? Yeah, all, all of my my chess settings, uh, sorry, my Twitch settings seem to have gone back to where they were. Oh man. See, I never know how to kick off these pawns because I don't want to play this because then it weakens your pawn structure. But I don't not want to play that because this pawn is just going to be the bane of my life. Do you play Sicilian? I've tried it. I prefer playing against the Sicilian because I learned a, a couple of tricks. I'm learning at least very, very slowly. All right, we'll fuck up the pawn structure later, I think. So if we're playing queen side, we don't, don't need to worry about this, dude. We just got to defend. Put the vision there. Bring the knight here. Once this guy's out, oh fuck, where does he go? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we'll push some pawns first. Dude, don't watch my thought process. Can you? I think if you play me, you gotta mute it. <laughs> I was just gonna get wrecked. Aloha, Joe Rady. What's up, dude? Playing chess, that seems like a reasonable title. You guys wanna see my cat? Check it. I don't know if you can see it. She's so fucking cute, it's unreal. Uh, well, the cat's just going crazy because he wants to hump her. She's too young. The thing I like about the Karakans is as soon as they move this dark square bishop, which is like quite a handy piece to move, and then this pawn is just fucked. And we always get to attack. Oh, fuck, he's listening. <laughs> Damn, he's plusy being me. All right, I'm just gonna have to balance my range, throw in some bluffs. I can't, I can't wait to take his knight on f3. Hope he doesn't defend it again. That would suck. Rune, you're not gonna hump her. Chill, chill. All right, what else? What else can we throw in? Uh, I think I might sacrifice my queen. Oh my god, is that mate in three I have? Ah, oh, hope he doesn't take loads of time to work it out. Damn it. Almost got him, guys. Luckily, now he's listening as well, I can talk smack. And it's easy to talk smack against someone that's playing like a little bitch. Damn. Let's take, take, take. No, no. Bam. Oh, I've got the bishop. Well, at least I can do the next move, I guess. Then you're going to start like, blindfolded. Man, when people do that, it freaks me out. I don't have a very visual mind at all. So when people do that, it's just like, I'm, I'm done. I, I can't even work out when I'm black. I can't even work out which um, like which squares which. What is the point in doing that? I've got to ask. So we go back there, and that knight can't go anywhere now. So he doesn't have any threats against it. This does. This knight doesn't have any squares to go to either. Like, can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go there. <laughs> it can retreat back like a little bitch. Chill, Rooney. Oh my god, he's so loud. Uh. 
Just keep pushing. When in doubt. How many people are watching, by the way? I, I assumed that people would... Uh, what the fuck? Oh, he's pushing as well. Seems like this is good. Take, take. That gives me an open fire for the rook, though. Open files are good. He can't do anything about it if he does. But then if I go there, then I got that coming. I got that and that. It's a nice spot for the night. Let's do that. 100 people watching, Jesus Christ. I was expect yeah, I was expecting like 10, so I'll take 100. Watch me play chess. It's like brain damaging. Ask me personal questions. In fact, I'll ask you some personal questions, guys. Um, once I fuck this guy up. What is the most embarrassing moment you can think of that you lived through? You lend me a tenner. Dude, I get so many fucking questions on... Oh shit, I didn't, I didn't see this. Uh, oh, is that why you post night? That's fair enough. I get so many questions on social media of people asking to borrow money. So many. Unreasonable amount. I'll take the open file for a pawn though. I should probably start developing. Gotta get this guy out first. Guys, someone tell me your most embarrassing moment you've ever lived through. I gotta hear it. I feel like I should not do that. Let's do something at least. Right, let's do that. Having sex for the first time. What was so, what was so embarrassing about sex for the first time? The first time I had sex, I was fourteen. Hashtag brag. Maybe fifteen. I think I was fourteen, and I came very quickly. Very quickly. It's humiliating. So it's back then I didn't really have too many emotions. I didn't really know what was going on. Oh God, that's. All right, this is probably gonna get fucked up though. Let's do that. Getting turned on listening to you come. <laughs> Dude, what are you saying? Once, one time I was caught watching the same stream as Chadok. I get it. Do some evasive maneuvering. About 20 minutes into a job interview, just seconds before they asked if I would like a tour of the office, I held the folder with my resume in front of my crotch for the entire tour, even after it went away. Oh my god, it was an erection? You got an erection during the... <laughs> and then you balanced it for when you didn't have an erection. That's smart. What was it about the, the scenario that made you get a random boner? Dude, thanks for sharing that. Amazing. Where you get your Adderall from? I've tried Adderall maybe like twice or three times in my life. Play poker on it every time and uh, never again. This is me doing Adderall and playing poker. It's like call, calling a three bet like Queen Jack suit. It's like Queen, Five, Deuce, and they see that. And they, they just always have aces or like kings or queens. Um, maybe ace king. So, queen five deuce, got queen jack, and like 300 big steep and a WSP event. I'm just sitting there, just like, I could fucking shove. I think I think he just folds all the time. He, he see that quickly, I could just go all in, and then he folds 100% of his range, because I, I don't think top set see bets that quickly. 
And I was like, wait, what the fuck am I doing? Cool. And it, it was like that every single fucking hand. I'd just be like, what if I went all in? What if I triple barreled? So fun. All right. We finally got the castle in. Why not playing the Pokestars Poker Care? Because I don't like paying rake. Zzz. Hey, rake. Boring. All right. Interesting. Grab some space. My rooks are a bit limp at the moment. How do you find the true Geordie off camera? Uh, kind of the same, to be honest. He's good. He asked me to go back on uh, his podcast, and then I was like, hey, yeah, sure, when? And he just hasn't replied. <laughs> so. don't, know, don't know if I'm going back on. But he, like, replied to other stuff. But yeah, I don't know. See if, he, see if he wants me on. I'm a very different person to when I went on before. All right, we're going to open this baby up. His bishop's kind of just doing nothing right now. Which is nice. I want him to move it. Or do I? Who knows? Oh shit! Oh, I didn't see it! Oh god! What's he got? What's he got on me? Ah! Uh, oh no. Oh god. There's only two legal moves, I might as well. Panic afterwards. Yeah, I think he wins. I think he's winning this game. <laughs> Man, against the 981 GG rating. He's got checkmate in three. Favorite drug ever? I've stopped doing drugs. So I, I wanna say privy first to the answer. I'm not a drug taker. Alright. Hopefully. Oh god. No. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Huh? So at least get that guy out. Uh, my favorite drug was probably psilocybin. And uh, yeah, that's that's the one that fucked me up the most in terms of like did the most emotional damage. Uh, but damn. It's like an abusive relationship, you know, you just keep going back. <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's probably the one that, that really uh, changed my life the most. Guys, that porn, fuck off. Please be a porn, yeah. All right. Oh, I can't go there either. Is that the only space? I guess I can go there. I don't want to trade queens when I'm down. I'm down six. Oh. Oh. Getting wrecked. Oh my god. I'm done. Oh, he saw it. <laughs> I'm down nine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm not going to give up. I'm not a quitter. Sometimes people just blunder the game, you know. Hope you get smashed the paintball. Like, damn. Oh yeah, guys. If anyone doesn't know him, what what does F's in the chat mean? I've heard F's in the chat before. Doesn't mean like four. Um. Yeah. On Saturday, next Saturday, Saturday the sixth of July, I'm I'm hosting a paintball meetup. 
Pretty sick, huh? Um, take uh, that. Is hanging? Does that do anything? Could go there. Doesn't really achieve anything either. Uh, yeah, Saturday, we're going having a paintball meetup. You guys want to come shoot me? It's in London. Saturday the 6th. And uh, I think we've got like 15 people going. I'm not sure if everyone's going to turn up because it's super early. And uh, it's, it's probably going to be like 80 pounds if people have to get trains and do all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, it should be sick. Fuck off. Why is he playing so well? <laughs> so annoying. Oh my god, he's just threatening checkmate as well. So painful. I feel like I'm gonna just get engined or something. That, that was that was one hell of a move. Talk about esoteric topics like how I can get good great at them. What do you mean get great at esoteric topics? Uh, I got a lot of esoteric topics I want to talk about. Today, I've been thinking about corporate entities pressuring tech conglomerates to stop being so fucking powerful. That's, that's a pretty big one. Oh my god, just getting wrecked. Oh. Dude, I am actually skeptical. No offense, person who I'm playing against. I think you might be using a cheat because I've played against a lot of people of your level. However, I could just be getting wrecked. Either way. Try and check made me now, bitch. Please don't. Someone distract him. Someone say something really fucking funny in the chat. He talked about how to manipulate RNG, for example. That'd be a handy skill for a poker player. If you want to manipulate RNG, I would first recommend reading Real Magic by Dean Radin. That is not a good move. Dean Radin has uh, written about manipulating RNG. And a lot of people are going to be real fucking skeptical whether that is a possible thing to do. And uh, I've got to be honest, it is. And this is something that 99% of the world will be like, nah, nah, mate, ain't a thing. But you'll be very surprised. Oh my god, is that checkmate? Oh, it's not. You'd be very surprised at... Ah, uh, you can't checkmate me now either. Oh my god, he's tanking. One second left. We got him, boys. We outplayed everyone. Oh, crushed. I am so dubious. I've got to check your game, sir. Because if you were just making perfect moves, I'm going to have to call, call foul play. But we'll see. Uh, what does that even mean? Yeah, we did it, boys. Fucking outplayed him. Uh, you, you might have just been playing better than me. 21 best moves. Oh, man. Zero blunders. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a lot. All right. What am I meant to do there? I'm just meant to go there. 96. He's got bishop e2. No one ever plays bishop e2. Everyone plays that. What do I do then? Bishop g4. So you can take d4. All right, just play normally. All right, let's do that next time. Does anyone else think this might this might be a cheat? What was his accuracy? Ninety seven percent, dude. You were cheating. I'm 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 calling it. 
And we won though. We made it. Should have just taken that, doubled up his pawns. Fair enough. Alright, if it keeps going green now, then it is pro it's pro cheating. That's not too much green. 97% now. I never get 97%. I've, I've played some damn good games. What was this noise? My computer overheating or something? Anyone hear that? Oh, I was getting wrecked. Oh, look at all this green. There's no, and I'm just like, blunder, 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 blunder. Yeah, no, dude, you, I, I'm calling foul play. And then we won. Outplays a computer. Um, so, I'm level 900. No, we can make 21 best moves. Yeah, not, not, not doing that again. Um, yeah, so if anyone doesn't know what manipulating RNG means, RNG is a random number generator. Imagine you've got, that I'll show you, RNG. That Google does one for you. You'd be like, random number generator. I want a big number. Oh, see, I'm bad at manipulating RNG right now. Big number. I'm getting better. I'm getting, oh, oh, damn it. Oh, so good at sets. So good. Uh, yeah, so that kind of thing is similar to how, let's say, poker works, especially online, but there are other things that, that use RNGs that are pretty pretty relevant. And actually, kind of the way that the, the fabric of the universe is made up, and uh, not specifically from random number generators, but the essence of randomness, at least the human perception of randomness, we don't know if it's actually random. Maybe there's like a supercomputer or an alien that can be looking and be like, that's not random, idiot. Uh, but we at least see it as randomness. That seems to be manipulatable. And if you all want to see some evidence. I hope this comes up. Prove that one. Dude, CIA.gov? Uh, Alright, well, apparently the CIA is right about it. So I, I don't know what's going on. They're right about telepathy, clairvoyance, precognition, all of this shit. It's all the same stuff that... Uh, Random number generator Dean Raiden. Yeah. It's all the same stuff that this guy has written a lot of papers on and has found other people that have written loads of papers on. And they're basically like, hey, do you want to try and fucking change it with thoughts and feelings and emotions? And they were like, yeah. And often when you hear about these kind of claims, my, well, at least when I do, my skeptical brain is like, okay then. Um, but actually I heard about this first maybe two years ago. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Oh my God, she knows she's so cute. Oh. Oh. So when I first heard these claims, I was a bit like, all right then, all right, good one. And then I looked into it a bit more. And uh, it seemed to be real fucking legit. And I'm not going to go into too much more depth because I don't want people quoting me being like, Charlie says this and he is fucking lunatic. I don't really care if people believe in it or not. It's actually kind of nice, especially in certain spots, which uh, the more perceptive of you could po probably guess. It's nice to know it and other people not know it and have that little in information disparity. You can write a paper, but that's not evidence. You won't find this mumbo jumbo in any respectable journal. But you can post anything on the internet. Yeah. Well, that that's the skeptical brain I was talking about. Yeah. I, I was at that like two years ago. Um, yeah, not anymore. Bow. Let's play some fucking E4 though. Oh God. Oh no. I said I liked playing against the Sicilian. I already don't know how to play against this. No, shit, I should, he's, he might be listening. Dude, are you listening? Are you listening? Um, might have to bluff. Uh, I feel like this can't be terrible now. He's, he's moved that. You going for the Grandmaster title? Uh, I don't know. Uh, hey, what's up? It's you, right? Yeah. I imagine if I were to be Grandmaster, it would require too much of my life. 
but I would like one day maybe to be like an in international or the one below international master because they seem fucking good but they're not like insanely good you, it doesn't seem like you need to know loads about it you just need to know like roughly the first like I don't know. you need you need to know probably like 50 openings or something national master that sounds not too hard right national master <laughs> I, I might i might just not be good enough intuitively we shall see seems pretty reasonable doesn't it five master yeah, I've seen FM floating around. What what kind of rating do you think a five master would have on this? Like if they're playing online, because I know that the Elo's kind of change when they're online versus uh, live. So, yeah. My my light square bishops just kind of useless anyway because I got I got this guy, and I might as well just double up his pawns, and then I got some pretty fun. I don't want to undouble his pawns straight away though. That'd be dumb. Maybe I do. Alright, let's do that. Keep the initiative at least. If he moves his knight back, we're definitely ahead then. Uh, even if he doesn't, I think we're fine. Any news on abundance coming? Very slow news, yeah. I'm taking my sweet time with abundance. Wait, do I wanna? I feel like this is a thing. So run into anything stupid out of this, I mean. Seems all right. Yeah, my, my energy wasn't right, so I wasn't speaking to many investors. 2100-ish on chess.com to be a, 2100 is big. Maybe, okay, I'd, maybe, maybe in like 10 years I can get there. Um, but yeah, I, my energy wasn't right, so I, I haven't been speaking to many investors. Everything's just on ice right now, and I'm, I'm paying attention to other things. Making more money, slash, you know, watching Bitcoin go up. <laughs> and preparing myself. Just a lot, a lot of self-work. Working on myself, making sure I am the most articulate, compassionate, and well good-hearted let's say person i can possibly be obviously not too articulate right now haven't eaten much today i've had six avocados and that's it i realize i think i've been having too much meat just eating meat all day every day uh, and yesterday all i had was the most free range organic grass-fed three different types of meat and it still made me feel kind of weird and i i assume that we're just not meant to mix meat like that bitcoin's down six percent <sighs> Oh yeah, I don't actually watch it go up and down. It's up since like a month ago, so I'm doing alright. Um, if I do that, then no, that's pretty fun. What else am I gonna do? Yeah. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, so. I've been reading a lot about nutrition recently, like a lot, a lot, a lot. And it's real fucking hard to be healthy in this world. Everything out there is just designed to kill us. And it, that, that's an exaggeration and a lie. It's not designed to kill us, but it's not designed to make us good. It's not designed for our health. It's not designed for our well-being. What the fuck is that doing? Not throwing in that, not throwing in that. Oh, he's throwing in that if I move this. Okay. Smart. That one? Did it just go back? That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? What about that one? I kind of don't mind it being there. Do that one. I don't want him to push A4. And I've been learning a lot about even fruit and vegetables, guys. A bunch of it isn't good for us. Let's take tomatoes for an example. Tomatoes, they can be pretty legit when you just grow them on a plant and you eat them ripe. But, big butt, and I like big butts, when you buy them at a shop, organic or not, I mean, non-organic, they have pesticides on them. So you've got to wash the fuck off them and it still fucks them up. Getting bad stuff. 
organic, sometimes they still have natural uh, herbicides and pesticides. So you might still be getting fucked up. Oh, God. Man, these double pawns are pretty OP. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, that seems good. Right, so that, there, take, take. Still control the center. I love it. It would suck. So the organic label is bollocks, right? Oh no. Oh shit. How long has he had that move? Big fan, sub dude. Thanks, man. Big enough fan to let me win this one, are you? Oh, it's a dead light squared bishop. I really don't want to exchange that. I don't know if I have a choice. Wait, I can just do this? Um, so, if you eat a tomato and it's just green, not right, What's it taste like? It tastes like shit. And that's your body being like, I don't want this green tomato because it's not good for me. And the reason it's not good for you, or one of the reasons, is because it's got lectins in. Lectins, bleh. Some lectins are okay. Most of them, poisonous. Body, not designed for it. We're at war with the fucking plant kingdom and we didn't even know it. I mean, first of all, we're killing their environment and they're fighting back. Second of all, what was I going to say? Man, I need to eat. <laughs> so hard not to eat meat. I need like 12 more avocados and then up to my recommended daily calorie. So you get this tomato at, say, Whole Foods, you know, fucking lovely place. And Is it like a good square? I mean, he wins a pawn if I go there, but not the worst. No, oh, no, he gets a pass one. No, he doesn't get a pass one. Let's just go back. Lovely, red, beautiful tomato tastes great. You know what they fucking do? They take a green tomato, ship it all the way over from Spain or Portugal, wherever they, they grow it, and they keep it green. You know, they get it in its green state, so the tomato doesn't have time to ripen. And then when they get it to the store, they pump it full of this, I don't know what, it, what the chemical is, I don't know if it's like, damaging at all to us or not but the point is it doesn't ripen it it just makes it taste and look like it is and the lectins don't disappear unfortunately we still have a lectin full diet and it's super unhealthy and you can read and i would recommend literally everyone reading this a book called i'm actually reading the summary it's on audible but it's like a two hour summary um, listening to it it's called plant paradox by stephen gundry and he outlines so many things about diet which are just revolutionary and the stuff that our ancestors knew but we don't and the reason that so many of us have like skin issues which i have a bit of um and get degenerative disorders like alzheimer's we get um, lots of malnourishment, we get lots of depression, anxiety, all of this stuff. Not all of it's obviously down the food, but a hell of a lot of it is. And he outlines exactly what's going on. That is, I think, okay. I might have to go and eat soon. So check. So take, 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 take. Bam. Did we just win a pawn? Is he opening up the position to give away a pawn? Doesn't have any strange like. I don't think I don't think he does. Let's find out. Guys, is he winning a pawn or am I just being dumb? So let me know. Well, 
or the foods you stay away from. I stay away from all greens. And this isn't like a 100% thing. Sometimes have a splurge if I'm feeling like good. Because when your body saves up a lot of shit, a lot of good stuff, sorry, a lot of energy, then you can get away with splurging, at least in my opinion. Wait, if he, if he does that, he does that. Uh, but then I have just back, I guess. Oh, no, he's, yeah, no, he wins it then. Oops. I mean, he doesn't. That would be dumb if he played that. Let's start with that and then let's simplify this a bit because maybe there's some cool stuff I can do. Like, no, that was probably a mistake. <laughs> um, oh, that was definitely a mistake. No, that's got it. Oh my God, I just cleared up his position so nicely. That was maybe the worst move I could have made. That isn't a complete blunder. So yeah, I avoid greens. I mostly avoid dairy. Um, if you do have dairy, I would, and again, I'm not a fucking nutritionist, but I, I've spoken to a lot of experts uh, who are nutritionists. If you do have dairy, I would recommend getting it super organic, but you're probably gonna be allergic to anyway. Uh, so greens include like rice, wheat, um, like gluten, which kind of is wheat-ish, um, or all that stuff. It's just killing our insides. We're not, we're not designed for it. It's like if you put fucking petrol in a diesel car or diesel in a petrol car whichever one fucks it up you know we're not we're not we're not, we're not evolved for it why did you go there that is actually surprising let's do that past pawn technically we're gonna queen it boys oh i just wanted that pawn fair enough <laughs> didn't see that Dairy is great for calcium, strong bones. Yeah, no, there's good stuff in dairy as well. That's the problem. Sometimes good and bad stuff. Why are you going now? You want to take that pawn? Smart. Uh, I can protect it. I don't know if I want to. Probably do, don't I? Let's protect it with that then. Watch the time. All right, guys, we're going to concentrate. Less talking. Going to play some fucking speed chess now. Flagging. Flagging is when they run out of time. Oh, God. It's not very speedy, is it? recommend you guys playing your own music as I don't think I can play music I don't have headphones I wonder if one day everyone will look back at us wearing headphones but like those guys looked fucking ridiculous why the fuck is everyone wearing the metal things around their head I assume so hopefully they won't be so rude about it still protect 
protected? Everything's protected? Have to move it here because we move there. He's got check and forks. No, he's forked, bitch. Forked right in the ass. Fuck, I didn't, I didn't check to see if his knight could check me in with the queen. It's kind of lucky. checks we can just move back we're good we're ahead on time Woodstock I hope you're getting stressed looks like a stressful position you've had the initiative but you've thrown it away man you could take with the queen as well. You know what, en passant moving chess is? Yeah. Yeah, it's like if I went now to g4, you'd be able to take like that. I learned that far. I haven't, haven't learned much more than that, to be honest. Dude, he's fucked. Is he fucked? Somebody good at chess, tell me if he's fucked. Well, he's fucked on time at least. There's always that. Unless he's like slow rolling. I've never slow rolled someone in chess, but I'm kind of looking forward to the day I do. That I don't think was a good move. Maybe it was. Let's find out. Wait, am I trapped? No, I'm not trapped. This knight being here is pretty relaxing because he's got to go bam, bam, bam for checkmate. Getting a queen, boys. Damn, concentration went on. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go eat. <laughs> GG was so GG. Appreciate the not using an engine. That was a, a nice relief, dude. Guys, we beat one guy who had a pretty high rating, Woodstock, who played like a beast and had me until the end, and we beat a fucking engine. We beat the engine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can analyze that game if you want. And then I'm gonna go cook even more guacamole. View on water fasting, guys. If you don't fast or you've never tried fasting, whether it's intermittent fasting or just normal, oh god, oh 61%, not too bad. Uh, missed win. Wild game. That was pretty wild, actually. I wasn't aware that it was wild. <laughs> you know, you gotta be aware of what's going on to know as well. Okay, that's not how you play against a Sicilian. You just put your knights out. All right. Good to know. His is a book move. All right. All right. Nah, you played it wrong too. Me too. I really want my knight out there. I need to understand why. Yeah, 22%. That's unlucky, man. 
So apparently you've just blundered like a pawn or something. I guess it's because I have to push e5, but I don't. No, it's because I have to double up your, your pawns. It really wants me to double up your pawns. Yeah, got it. <laughs> got there eventually. All right, e5, not good. Got it. Uh, here I feel like I just played every move wrong for a while. That was bad. I hate it when it does this. It's like, bro, castle, question mark, exclamation point. And I'm like, fine, I'll castle. It's like, question mark, exclamation point, man, what are you doing? He's moved his pawn forward one square. You're an idiot. It's so brutal. Can't you think 20 moves ahead? That blocks six things. Stupid uh, artificial intelligence telling me I'm dumb every time I play chess. 1.73, crushing. Look at that. Positional chess, this. Bad. I knew that was bad. Oh. Me too, man. Me too. Wait, what? It wants me to unprotect this. What happens if he takes? What do I do? Apparently now I'm crushing somehow. See if I can find it. I'm not going to look. Oh, I get it. Okay. Oh, is it trapped? No, that's not it. Blunder. All right, that's trapping it. Oh yeah, that's not trapped because of that guy. <sighs> Question mark, how did you not see that five moves ahead? <laughs> Amazing. Double question mark, how could you? Oh, he found the best move, nice. Best move. So now he's crushing because I played bad positionally, I guess. Oh, because I allowed him the bishop to go there, I just had to play passively, like a little bitch for a while. Played the best move there. Oh god. Yeah, that, that's the one where I was like, that's, that's maybe the worst move I could have made. I have all the ones I was thinking about. Yeah. All right, that was not good. I get it. Oh, yeah, I didn't see. I didn't see you could take that. Huh? What happened to the bankroll challenge? It's coming, guys. I've got a. I'm really taking my time with it. I, I haven't felt like streaming at all. I've been depressed. Like it's been tough. I'm not a little bitch. I'm not complaining. Oh my god. <gasps> I could have just taken it. Ah! How did I not see that? How did no one tell me that? Yeah, miss win, fair enough. I wasn't paying too much attention, so I was trying to talk about lectins. Best move. Bad move. Best move. Best move. Best move. Bad move. Best move. Best move. Best move. Best move. Nice. That's when I started concentrating. No, it's just a lot easier because I <laughs> had a past one. Uh, so yeah, I was about to say something about fasting. Oh yeah, so if you haven't tried it, just try every day only eating between an eight hour period. Choose what it's gonna be like t midday till 8 p.m. and just stick to that for like a week. If you eat clean as well, you'll feel on fucking fire. If, even if you just do that and you're just like, you want to take baby steps, you want to like, you don't want to eliminate stuff out of your diet, it's sick. Um, you will be more energetic. There's studies out to say you lose weight, you lose fat, but you actually put on muscle. And it all comes back to this thing, in my opinion at least, of how we evolved to eat. Let's try and look back at how our ancestors over the millions of years um, manage to you know build their bodily functions and their systems and let's try and emulate what they were doing because that is what we're evolved for you can't fuck around with evolution and expect to come out on top occasionally you can maybe with like vaccines and shit uh, but most stuff in my opinion you can't so we look back at how people were eating back in the caveman days they weren't three meals a day on the dot they were just like, oh, man, I can't find fucking fig tree. Where is the fig tree? And then they find a fig tree and they'd be like, blah, blah, blah. and then they'd be like, oh, man, it's been two days since I've eaten a boar. And they find a boar and like, blah, blah, blah. you know, it's, 
it, it wouldn't be formulaic and it wouldn't be repetitive it would be here and there and seeing as it's hard for us to emulate that considering we're not in the wild eating fig trees and boars and stuff um, the best way I think to do that is to try and emulate it with a type of regime so intermittent fasting eight hours per day or 16 hours of fasting per day eight hours eating window is the closest I think we can get to emulating how our ancestors were eating yeah. without watching it dude sub to the twitch prime sub dude I'm just playing chess you sub this is great apparently I get money for it I don't, I don't know if I've got that money ever but uh cool um, she's so cute. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry for waking you, darling. Oh, she loves it. She's the most cuddly cat. My other cat's not very cuddly unless she's tired. But she, she's just always always down for a snug. Um, what about longer periods of fasting? Yeah, so I've not gone in the intense fast train because I have been trying to build muscle very slowly. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, but every time I get depressed, then I start losing all my muscle again, so I have to start again. I was, I, I was like big at one point, but another thing. Hannah has done quite long fasts, and a lot of people I know have, and they've I've only ever heard good things. Uh, the only thing I will say is that if you have an eating disorder, then I would recommend not taking any advice from anything I possibly could say. Um, because I think that if you add in something as intense as like a three day fast to anorexia or bulimia or something like that, it, it can create some really dangerous cycles, which I've seen in people. You just don't want to fast when you're anorexic because you kind of already are all the time. Um, yeah. So I, so, so Jolly says, I feel great. Born and send yours me. What's up? I feel great whenever I don't eat and instantly feel like shit when I eat something. That's probably because the stuff you're eating is shit. And uh, yeah, I, I was the exact same. I'll get real fuzzy head, I wouldn't be able to think properly, I'll be feeling sick, I'll get like bad skin, all of this kind of stuff. Um, so I really would recommend Jelly reading at least uh, the, the summary of um, Plant Paradox and just following the diet that, that he gives you. And I, I, I've seen the results of people. People have got rid of like autoimmune diseases. They got rid of arthritis. Like the person um, that I had the podcast with, Rowan, he he gets messages from a bunch of people, and he he was he's already saved loads of people's lives, but I won't go into that. He got a message after someone was on my podcast. Sorry, after he was on my podcast, head's a bit fuzzy because I'm eating much. And someone reached out to him, and he was like, "Man, I wasn't going to see more people, but this person they they reached out so nicely, and they they said they knew you, and they said they their wife really wanted to help." So I was like, "Fine, I'll do this one." And their wife had, his wife had had arthritis, like really, really bad arthritis for like seven years and she was like 25. Uh, so obviously if you get juvenile arthritis, I, I don't know if it's juvenile, if you're over 18, I don't know what's called, but anyway, a certain type of arthritis when you're young, something wrong is happening. Like your body's been like, fuck this. And I think it was within 10 days, every one of, every one of her symptoms had, had been relieved. And that to me is just mind boggling. It's absolutely mind boggling. He's changed their life forever. Like arthritis, I've seen it affect people that I love and it's crippling. Um, so that skin, skin problems that people have had, weight loss is a huge thing. Um, putting on muscles, pretty, pretty big thing. Although it's quite easy to put on muscle with a, with a bad diet still, if you work out a lot and eat a lot. Um, yeah, all, all of this kind of stuff, it all comes from our food and the problem is all of these all of these companies they're not designed to make you healthy as even though they pretend that their their stuff's healthy they're designed to make money which sometimes coincides with being healthy but most of the time it doesn't so if you go in somewhere like whole foods it's basically just everything is just bollocks you know it's like everything is just pseudo health made by pseudo scientists and it's all just packaged to look healthy. So it's like gluten free, so it must be healthy, right? But it still has like nine other things in there, like xanthan gum, fucking oats, like all these things that are just messing up your guts, which means that you're gonna get leaky gut syndrome, it means you're gonna get bad skin, like someone in the chat just said. I had bad facial skin on my life 20 years old. I've always been told it's bad genes. Now I've control of what I eat, start to think about it more. Yeah, dude, the bad skin thing, I think it might be like 98% likely going to be your food 
especially if it started when you're 21. I, I, I'm saying 98 conservatively, judged on um, what experts have told me it seems to be higher than that. Um, so yeah, really would recommend just reading Plant Paradox and just really brushing up on it. Like I, I have something called seborrheic dermatitis. I don't know why I have it, but there's gonna be some like epigenetic reason, you know? But I do know that if I eat sugar, if I eat grains, which, you know, digests into sugar, uh, if I eat lectins, if I eat the wrong type of meat that's been processed, it flares up, it looks worse, it ruins my day. And it doesn't anymore because I'm a lot more confident than I used to be, but it used to ruin my day. Uh, you'll be able to see like some videos of me, like the one with Lingo Martin, where I, uh, I like hear recorder, I had a pretty bad skin day that day. Um, but it, it's got a lot worse as well in times. So and it really just, yeah. I really don't like it, but it was good. It was, it, it was good to get me me confident and being able to like walk out the door, even though I was looking like fucking got sunburn all over my face. And these, so I, I have seborrheic dermatitis. Everyone on the internet is just like, how the fuck do you get rid of it? There are like tens of thousands of people being like, how the fuck do you get rid of seborrheic dermatitis? And it, if you go to a doctor, if you go to a, um, a dermatologist even, they'll just be like, put this cream on it. It's never going to go away, but you can put the cream on it. You put the cream on and it like goes away for a bit. You're like, yeah, it's solved. And then it comes back and it comes back worse and worse and worse. And the cream, it isn't doing anything at all. It just covers it up and makes you think you can do whatever the fuck you want. So broad dermatitis can come from the liver and it can come from your intestinal tract. You won't find a dermatologist, or at least a, like a mainstream dermatologist that will tell you that. You'll find like holistic medicine gurus. You'll find like a like Chinese medicine people that'll be like, yeah, it's obviously that. But the reason that you don't find that out in medical school, I can only assume is because nefarious people have nefarious intent and they want to be like, sorry, I was looking at the chessboard game strategies. And they want to be like, uh, we don't want to solve the problem. We want to just put creams on it. So you have to keep buying our shit. That'd be cool. So you have to keep buying a cream, but you don't have to keep buying a diet that heals you. You know, you, once you're healed, you're healed. You, you can fucking buy whatever you want. You can, and it's not like the diet is, has a, like a specific company behind it. It's not like we're X company and we're selling you Y diet. It's like, no, you just buy some fucking vegetables. You know, no, one, no one's incentivized to make you buy vegetables because you can just buy vegetables from fucking anywhere. So the doctors that are saying buy vegetables, they're right. The ones that are saying avoid these foods, they're right. So once you do these these kind of cleanses, like the the plant paradox, it, it gives you like a six week cleanse, and then you, you rebalance your gut biome, your microbiome, and it allows you to digest food again. Because what happens at the moment, let's say if I eat a piece of grain, my guts aren't the best right now, because I've still got some heavy metals in there that I think are causing some havoc. I still haven't, there is, I've got a few, few personal issues that I need to get through health wise. Let's say if my guts are really bad, like they were before, before I met Ryan, and I eat some chicken, which by the way, guys, chicken that you'll buy almost fucking everywhere, even if it's free range, even if it's organic, if it's corn fed or if it's anything fed, you're getting a bunch of shit in there that's giving you a lot more estrogen than you should have. There have been scientific studies that show that there is a negative correlation between, the, between let's say you've got a pregnant woman, how much chicken she eats, and the size of her son's penis if she has a son. So the more chicken she eats because the, the chickens are fed on a bunch of shit that, in, that include, I think, soy, um, that produce phytoestrogen, and I'm really not an expert on this, but something along these lines. Um, that then, phytoestrogen turns into estrogen. I don't know how, don't know if I'm saying this right, which goes into the son and her, which isn't good for her either, and makes him not get his junk as big and magnificent as junk could be and that's just one example out of just like you know a lot of different things that that eating like this can do so basically any chicken you have will just be full of shit i found this real cool website called riverford which delivers actual good chicken that have been like pasteurized and that's that's the word you want to look for um so yeah i let's say let's say a bit of chicken or a bit of bread that would go down to my guts my guts would try and break it down and it wouldn't be able to break down because let's say gluten, which is a big protein, um, is very hard to digest. Our guts just aren't designed to, especially if they don't have enough of the good stuff in it and they do have some bad stuff in it, like bad parasites, like SIBO. 
it then can't digest the gluten, so it needs to go somewhere. It ends up spreading into your bloodstream. I'm not sure if I got this 100% right, but I think this is right. Spread into your bloodstream. Now, it's in your blood, it needs to come out somewhere. It can come out using your liver, I think, uh, which can fuck up your liver, I think. And it can also come out your skin. And that's what happens to me. For some reason, seborrheic dermatitis is the one I have. So it comes out my, my pores in my skin. And that's why if I eat sugar or if I eat um, fucking anything like bread, it, oh, not only that, there's one other thing, a lot of gut parasites in our bodies like candida, uh, that's a yeast overgrowth actually, but there's a lot of other gut parasites that um, when they flare up, it fucks up your gut and then fucks up your skin as well. So that's why sugar fucks you. Um, so yeah, that that's kind of like most of what I've learned about, about these disorders. Um, yeah, someone says carbs fuck me up, keto diet solve my indigestion problems. Yeah, ke keto is basically uh, what what this guy says. He does. I don't think he says go full keto. Um, but keto is definitely a, a very safe one if you wanna if you wanna go for a keto diet. Maybe avoid the dairy as well. If you've got, if you've got these problems, some people are less susceptible to it. So you know you can eat pizza, and some people just feel fine, or you know they feel a bit off, but they're just like not not really bothered. That doesn't mean that they can eat it all the time without any consequences. It generally just means that the consequences are likely to be, to be coming in the future. You know, you can die of all these different things, like uh, someone in the chat just said. Cancer, obesity, chronic pain, small, small pecker. <laughs> Life is too hard. It's it's true. I got all of these, all of these things are happening. So yeah, don't eat soy. That's a big one. Um, and don't eat grains. I can eat hamburgers. You do whatever you want, man. Um, yeah, another one is oh, this is the last thing I'm gonna say before I go eat. Another one is different types of of let's say beef, and sorry, I was reading a chat question as well. I thought you could just get grass-fed beef. I was like, finally, I've worked out. This is why the beef I'm eating isn't making me feel good. It's not grass-fed. So I was like, I went to Whole Foods. I was like, give me your finest organic grass-fed beef. He was like, and the dude's like, here's some very expensive Wagyu beef. I was like, oh, perfect. It's going to make me feel great. Made me feel a bit, okay, better than the other stuff did, but still made me feel fussy. I was like, fuck's sake. Is it just cows? Are we not meant to eat cows? What's going on? Are the Hindus right? No, I mean they might be right. I don't. Know. I don't know about the religious stuff, but fucking lying corporate entities again. Grass fed, it can mean like fifty percent grass fed, fifty percent shit fed. Crazy. And when it's shit fed, you eat the shit, and we're not designed to eat the shit. So you have to look for something that's grass fed and grass finished, which is uh, a rarity. You've got to ask the the venue you're getting from. I've actually found a local butcher. That they're not doing it because they care about you know the, the health things. They're doing it because it tastes fucking amazing. And if you taste what a real fucking sausage tastes like, it's insanely good. It's genuinely the best fucking meat I've ever had in my life. It tastes so good. I was like, Jesus, this is what meat is meant to taste like. Um, so yeah, cows are fed corn. Should be, should be eating corn, man. We're not designed for corn. Sorry, popcorn. Hold up, no soy. Yeah, soy soy's not good, man. You'll get a lot of people, especially in the vegan community, being like, soy is the worship, we've got to worship soy, it's the fucking god. Um, but no, it's uh, no bueno, I think. It's general scientific consensus from actual scientists seems to say no. A lot of studies done that. And I, I can give you my personal experience and all the people around me that have the exact same thing. Oh, Charlie, a project with blockchain you reveal is extremely interesting. How's it going? And what's your opinion about Libra, that Facebook cryptocurrency? I haven't looked at the Facebook cryptocurrency, honestly, because it kind of scares me. Not scares as in like, I'm like, oh, it's just like, oh man, Facebook make cryptocurrency. They could literally turn into like a trillion dollar company if, if they manage to implement it correctly and well, which they probably will because everyone's fucking rich and smart. Uh, it would boost up the value of all cryptocurrency and make the market cap go up huge, which would make a lot of people that have cryptocurrency very rich. But... I don't know what they're doing with it. Facebook seems to be a real horrible group of people in, in general. They don't seem to care about the privacy. They don't seem to care about a lot of good things. They want you to be addicted to their thing. Uh, I do not have a background in science, nutrition, or biology. I do have a background in thinking. And sometimes when you're not a scientist, you have to revert to old faithful uh, appeal to authority, fallacy. Well, it's not always a fallacy. And be like, what do all the geniuses say? Uh, Main Street says, why was I depressed? Uh, mainly Hannah. Yeah. 
Am I going to Barcelona? Probably. Probably, yeah. Hi, Epiphany. Hi, Abus. Still playing poker? Yeah, that's why I'm going to Barcelona. Thinking? Sounds like being a fraud. Yeah, to be fair. That is, uh, that's kind of it. I see your kappa. I see you being sarcastic. But some, sometimes if people, they don't have backgrounds and they're talking like I do, that there's very often you just can't trust them. Um, how can Facebook guarantee anonymity if they have a crypto? You can't trust them, fools. Yeah, I don't understand the question, actually. Crypto is pretty anonymous, usually, in comparison to the rest of the world. But I, yeah, I, I don't know. Facebook will probably take your data and sell it. Cool. It's cool. How many people did we get watching? Only Chester, guys, I'm probably gonna eat and I might come back later actually. 101, I love it. 101 people watching me play chess. Dude, I wasn't even playing chess, we were just talking at the end. Might have been even more. And we won, fucking three nil. What's, what's my rating at? I actually looked. After this fucking game where <laughs> Pro Cash, much love, but that was 99% an engine. Um, yeah, what are we on? 1330, boys. Seems like money doesn't buy happiness. Nah, actually, I think if you're good at having money, I think it actually kind of does. It's not going to give you happiness, you're not going to get happiness in exchange, but it lets you do a lot of things that make you happy if you're good at it. But a lot of people, they're just like, I want to buy stuff. That'll make me happy because I get dopamine rushes from it. And then they buy stuff and they're like, I'm miserable. What the fuck happened? Uh, so yeah, doing all right. All right, peace guys. Eat good, eat well, much love. That's, uh, yeah, let's, let's do some more chess, do some poker, get the bankroll challenge. I might post this to YouTube, so hi YouTube.